I've been writing this new record since the day after From Death to Destiny came out. And um, obviously I was catering to Danny. Danny was very headstrong and, and if he didn't like a song, it wasn't happening. That's why we had so many issues with From Death to Destiny actually getting it released. So when I was writing this, I was really trying my best to cater um, to Danny's wants as well as everyone else's. So I was, I was almost writing an Avenged Sevenfold style album. I was like, okay, well we need to keep this rock and roll vibe because that's, that's what Danny really wants. But I also need to kind of keep it heavy because that's what the other guys want. And um, Danny was still upset about all the heavy parts and tried to take all of those out. So I was, I was really struggling. I must have written about 30 songs um, that either he said, yep, I like that, and the other guys didn't, or they liked something and he didn't. Um, so when he left, it was, I could just breathe a huge sigh of relief. I was like, awesome, I can write what I want to write now. And I know that what I want to write is what everyone else in the band wants to play. So I just scrapped the whole thing and I started all over again. And um, I think I probably went into the studio with Joey with about 46 songs. And we're like, these are the ones I wrote when Danny was in the band. These are the ones I've written since Danny's left. And Joey was like, Pfft. well, the ones you wrote when Danny in the band can go in the bin. Those are garbage. They're not asking Alexandria. And these are awesome. This is exactly what your fans have wanted to hear since Reckless and Relentless came out, you know, so um, it was, it was for the best. I think this is going to be our best, our best record. And everyone says that, but we actually have a valid reason for that now. We actually have something to prove. We don't have anything holding us back now. And we've, it's, we, it's been held back for so long. Everything's just kind of fallen out onto this record. And it's, it's, it's an incredible record. I listen to it and I'm just like, fuck man, I can't believe I wrote this. It's insane. So. Will you ever This time, I haven't had to hold back. I, I've, I've been given complete creative freedom and I've been able to sit down and go, okay, where does the band need to go? Where do we want it to go? What's gonna make all of us happy? What's gonna make our fans happy? And it's like, well, you've just been set free and you can do whatever the hell you want. There's no limitations. And so in that aspect, I think you'll see it very obviously or hear it when you listen to the album, like, oh my God, that's what was missing from from Death to Destiny. There's, there's still From Death to Destiny aspects in the new record, of course, because it's still me writing it. But I feel like people go, if this was in From Death to Destiny, it would have been a much, I'm not going to say better album, but a much different album, you know? And um, I think, I don't know, there's just a lot to me that's missing in From Death to Destiny that I've been able to address on this new album, musically. I Won't Give In is, it was one of the first songs I wrote um, after having written the album again, started to write the album again. And um, I think lyrically it started off as quite a dark song and that was another one where Dennis pulled me up and said, this is too sad, it's too dark. You need to be more positive thinking. And I think the song, whilst it's directed at Danny, I think overall, has a message more of us not giving in to what very easily could have been the end of Ask Alexander. We could have easily just been like, well, that's it now, you know. We, we gave it a good run, we're out, but um, obviously we didn't want to do that. And I think that song, more than anything, is almost just reassurance to ourselves. Like, it's almost us telling ourselves, like, you got this, you know, you can carry on, it's going to be fine. Um, you don't need Danny, everything's, everything's hunky-dory, you're going to be good. And I, I think that song is more of just a, to keep us feeling positive as well as you know anyone else who listens to it so it just seemed like the right song to release first we we, we hummed and hard and went back and forth we were going to release a really heavy one so like everyone's going to want a heavy track for the summer but i won't give in just it spoke to us as a group um so it just it felt like the right song for us to release <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>